ни преди да седна. Окей. So we start sitting in a comfortable position. You can use a block or a cushion under your hips. Make sure your spine is long. You could also choose to sit on your heels. Let's roll the shoulders just a few times. Up, back and down. And then after the final roll, release them down, relax them, allow gravity to help them soften. And maybe just a few rolls with the neck to loosen up neck joints, especially if you've been working on a laptop today or a PC and reverse. Good, and let's bring the chin into the chest and really make an effort here to lengthen your spine. And just with the help of the movement of the head, the chin towards your breastbone, try and feel a stretch in your spine. Breathing slowly in. and out and if this is not enough for you you can cross your hands behind your neck and bring the elbows towards one another and don't press don't push just again allow gravity to do the work your arms are quite heavy so that would be enough to lengthen spine and here if you wish you can turn the head left and right a few times chin towards your shoulder nothing else moves elbows stay down good and then let's open the elbows and send the chest forwards. Try and even look up, opening the throat. Bring those elbows back as far back as they can go. Inhale into the belly and into the chest. Exhale, all the air out from the chest and the belly without changing. Let's do two more. Focus on opening the elbows. Now, final one, let's breathe into the front of the chest, the armpits and the shoulders. Open those elbows and exhale. Let's release, come back to the center. Place your hands on your knees and let's do a few cat cows, but in cross-legged position. So inhale, bringing the chest forward, looking up. Exhale, rounding the back, pulling the belly in, chin to the chest. Engage your ujjayi breath here. Good, two more. And inhale, return to center. And let's finish this warm up with a gentle twist. So one hand on the opposite knee, you can choose which side you start. The other arm and the hand are behind you on the floor. Inhale, press the hand behind into the floor to help lengthen the spine and then Gently press your knee to help twist. 
Continue to breathe. Maybe the block is not good, too comfortable for twist. If it's in the way, remove it. And on your next inhale, change sides, other hand on the opposite knee. The arm that is behind you is really close to your buttocks and place it in the middle. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Twist. One more. And inhale, return to center. Let's close the eyes here for just a few moments. Continue to breathe in and out through the nose with a constriction at the back of your throat. Relax your face. There's always the option to smile. Inhale and pull the pelvic floor lightly upwards. Connect, connect the tongue to the back of your teeth. Exhale down the front of the body. Inhale, pelvic floor up. Shoot the energy up your spine. Imagine it traveling all the way up to the crown of the head. Then start exhaling down through the back of your palate and the tongue down the front of the body and into the belly. Two more orbits like that, microcosmic orbits. Inhale, pelvic floor up. Feel the energy going up. Might not be feeling much, but any tingling in the spine, any warmth, this is energy. Exhaling down the front of the body. Final one. Turn to normal breath and just take a few moments to stay still. Feeling the ground beneath your sitting bones, giving you the support. Feel the sky above the head. You are in the middle as a conductor. Energy circulating up the body and down the body. And slowly, let's open the eyes and move on to all fours. So we're starting with the knees under your hips, hands under your shoulders, spreading the fingers. Good. 
And then from here, let's bring the right leg back. Make sure you've got space so you're not kicking any furniture. And then from here, you're going to inhale and open the right hip to the right. So think half moon pose, yeah? Push both hands into the floor and turn the toes and the knee to the right. Now exhale and bring that leg forwards so that it's parallel to the floor, still up in the air. Pull the belly in, lift it a little higher. Good, inhale, bring it back. Now exhale, let's turn the hips sideways. We do this in a couple of steps. Inhale, move the leg forward. Exhale, move it back, turn the body down to the floor. Let's repeat one more time. Inhale, open the hip to the right. The toes, the knee pointing forwards. Exhale, squeeze the belly in, lift that leg as high as you can. Keep it parallel to the floor. And inhale, come back. Let's do this one more time. Inhale, turn the hips to the right. Exhale, pull the belly in and send that leg so that it's 90 degree with the body parallel to the floor. Lift it and let's do five little pulses up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, I said five, but we did ten. Inhale, stretch back and exhale. Okay, let's stretch back in down dog. Send the arms forwards, feel the difference between the two hips. And from here, on your next inhale, we're going to come back up and prepare for the other side. So I'm turning because I have no space because of the wall. So your position of your hands, of your knees, adjust it. Inhale, stretch the left leg back. Exhale, turn the left hip, the left toe, the left knee to the left. Exhale, really squeeze the belly in. Point the toe so it's perpendicular to the body. Lift the leg so it's parallel to the floor. Inhale, coming back. Exhale, starting to turn the hips to the left. And then push the leg forward, squeezing the belly, exhaling. Inhale, slowly back. Exhale, turn the hips to the left. Doesn't matter where you inhale and where you exhale, so long as you continue breathing slowly. And stretch the leg back. One more time, and let's start with opening the hips, inhaling, exhaling, leg to the side, and let's do the 10 pulses. Up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Inhale, stretch back and relax. Good, your hips must be burning now, mine are. Stretch for a moment. Continue to breathe, ujjayi breath. Good. And on your next inhale, look between your hands, tuck the toes, and slowly start lifting the hips first. Stretch them up towards the sky. Stretching your legs, maybe coming on your toes. Continue to breathe, and if you need to walk the dog, you can do that. Or do any other little movements while stretching in down dog. 
Make sure to roll the shoulders down towards the floor and away from your ears. Yeah, that's it. Bring the chin into the chest and try and look towards your belly button. At the same time, really pull the belly button up. Good. On your next inhale, we're going to bring the right leg up towards the sky. On your next exhale, we're going to turn the right hip to the right. So the same movement, really opening the hips to the right. And then bend that right knee and try and touch the opposite buttock with your heel. So this is the, um, what is it called? That's not the well thing. I don't know what this pose is called. Open your hip, bring the heel closer to your buttock. Benny, bend that top leg. Bend, 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 bend the knee, yes. And on your next exhale, let's step back. Push yourself up, push the hips up towards the sky, open the chest. This is now the wild thing. And let's all open the right arm to the right so it's perpendicular to the body. And feel the stretch along the, across the chest. One breath and exhale. Come back up to three-legged dog. Still the right leg up. Now, from here, take an inhale. Stretch that leg as high as you can. And exhale. Bend the knee. Bring the leg in towards the chest. You're still in down dog. And now cross the right ankle over the left knee. The right ankle over the left knee. Yeah. I'll turn the other side so you can see me better. <clears throat> now from here, what I'd like us to do is to come forwards to applying without changing that. It's almost like number four figure. Come forwards in plank and then turn to the outer edge of your left leg and then see if you can transition into a side plank. If you need that foot to help you, bring it down towards the floor. If you can, keep it up above the knee, do that. Good, let's take two more breaths here. Focus, breathe, pull the belly in, strong core, and exhale, relax. Stretch back up in downward facing dog. Good, well done, that wasn't easy. Inhale, move forward in plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. And inhale, stretch in cobra. So because we've been working on the belly, let's open the front now, front of the belly, the front of the chest. Open your feet quite wide, turn the little toes down. Shoulders down and away from your ears. One more breath. And exhale. Tuck the toes under and come to downward facing dog. Good. Let's take a couple more breaths here and we'll repeat the sequence on the left leg. Let's take an inhale and stretch that left leg up. And on your exhale, start turning the left hip towards the left eye, opening the hips all the way to the left. Keep both arms straight, keep pushing the floor and then bend the knee and try and touch the opposite buttock. So the knee needs to be pointing up towards the sky, really opening the groins here. One more breath and on your next exhale, step behind, push the floor away, lift the hips, stretch the left arm to the left so that it's perpendicular to the body and feel the stretch across the chest. Push your left foot into the floor, send the hips up. One more breath. And exhale, slowly turn down, lifting the left leg up again for three, 
legged downward facing dog. So I think I'm again in the wrong direction. I'll turn. On your next exhale, bend the knee towards the chest. And from here, you're going to place the ankle on top of left ankle on top of the right knee. So figure four with your left leg. Inhale, come into plank. Exhale, turn on the outer edge of your foot. And come into your plank. I hope you're doing the other side. I'm not sure if myself I am doing the other side. Good. And then exhale and push yourself back up in downward facing dog. Good. Let's go through a vinyasa slowly, inhaling forwards. Exhaling knees, chest, chin. Inhale, come into a cobra, open your feet quite wide, turn the little toes out, pull the belly in, send the chest forwards. And exhale in child's pose, bring your feet together, open the knees. Relax the forehead on the ground. Good, continue to breathe. Feel into your body any sensations, any warmth, any pain that you might feel. Just notice it. Good, continuing on from here, let's inhale and come back up to all fours. So we're working all the way to that pose. And because it requires a good balance and strong core, let's transition in plank. Stretching the legs back, sending the heels towards the back of the room. Tuck the tailbone under. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, bring the right knee towards your right elbow. Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, the left to the left elbow. Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, right to right elbow. Inhale, back. Exhale, left to left. Inhale, last one, but this time we're going to cross. Right knee to left elbow. Inhale. Exhale, left to right elbow. Inhale. And exhale, knees, chest, chin. Good. Now we're going to stretch those abdominal muscles again. Either cobra or up dog. If you're an up dog, turning the... Uh, tops of your feet onto the floor, pushing the floor away, stretching the belly, opening the chest. Good. One more breath. Exhale. Rest in child's pose. Good. Couple more breaths. And inhale, let's come forward again, all fours. Grab the two blocks that you've got, or you can use a chair. So we're gonna stretch the backs of the arms. So I use the two blocks on the medium height, no, on the lowest height, one on top of the other. I place my, place my elbows and I walk my knees as far back as needed in order for them to be right under my hips. Then I thread my head through my arms, 
opening the armpits, the chest, the whole time engage your core, keep it engaged. And the final step here, if you want to progress into the stretch is to bring the prayer between your shoulder blades. And let's take a few breaths here. Inhaling into the armpits. Exhaling, allowing gravity to pull the chest a little further down. The whole time, keep your core engaged. Good, final breath. And slowly push the elbows into your blocks. Move the knees a little forward. Come out safely of the pose and move the blocks away. Good. I'm hoping we're sufficiently stretched. Let's come into a forward fold. Let's open your feet to hip distance. You can keep your knees bent here. Interlace your hands, bring them behind your back or use your strap. Palms together or close together as you can. Roll the shoulders away from the ears, soften them and then allow the torso to fall forwards. The top of the head down. Transfer your weight over the four edges of your foot. Three breathing. Good, one more breath. And exhale, release the arms down. And let's come to halfway. So wherever you can reach with your hands, if you can reach the floor without rounding the back, you can do that. Shoulders back, chest forwards. Good. Relax the head so there is no tension in the neck. It keep lengthening that spine and turning your tailbone back up towards the sky. Good. As we are here, let's move your feet together and bend the knees. Squeeze the knees together, the ankles together, stretch the arms for chair pose. Take another breath, look between your hands, sit a little lower and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, walk, step or jump and go through your vinyasa. And let's all meet in downward facing dog. Good. On the next inhale, stretch the right leg up, three-legged dog. On your exhale, step the foot through, turn the back heel down on the floor, prepare for warrior two. Windmill the left arm slowly and bring the right arm in line with your shoulder, looking towards the back arm, making sure the arms are in line with the shoulders. Keep your gaze on the right middle finger. Good, one more breath. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, sliding forwards. Reach, 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 tuck that right buttock under. So that will 
really lift your torso a little higher, pull the belly in, stretch the bottom arm down and the left arm up. So when we go down to reach the floor, we stick our bum usually back. That's what we don't want. Bum in line with the body. So if in doubt, if you don't know if it's sticking, come up a little higher. Good, one more breath. Exhale, bend the front knee, support the elbow on the knee. Stretch the top arm over your head. Good, so I'm gonna turn. Again, I'm the wrong, in the wrong direction. Good, sink that hip. Usually that hip is sticking up. Sink it a little lower, stretch that arm. And imagine you have this one line from your back foot to your top arm. Okay, now place that hand on your hip and you can lift the hip a little bit of a rest. What we're going to do is we're going to crawl our fingers forwards and crawl this back leg a bit forwards. We are preparing for half moon. So your fingers need to be diagonally away from your little toe. Grab your block if you need it here. I would advise you to take a block. And inhale and bring that back leg off the floor. So the very same movement that we did with the hip, we need to open the left hip now to the left. Flex the foot, pull the belly in, keep looking down, find the stability, and only when you can, bring that top arm up towards the sky. If you have your balance there, maybe look towards your top arm. And then slowly let's bring the left arm down, keeping the leg up. Come forwards for just one breath, stretching the top leg as high up as you can, standing splits. And exhale, both legs together, fold, fold. Good, take a breather here. If you need to bend the knees a little and allow your hamstrings to rest, do that. We have one more side to do. You're almost prepared for the sequence, for the pose actually. Good. Let's bring your feet together if they're not already, squeezing the ankles and the knees, everything together. Sit down, keeping your hips back knees over your ankles, stretch the arms up, roll the shoulders back and down, pull the belly in. Final breath, let's look up and exhale, forward fold. Inhale halfway up, exhale, time for a vinyasa. So whichever options of the poses feel good today, that's what you do. And we all meet in downward facing dog. Good. Let's all inhale and lift the left leg up, stretching the heel towards the sky and exhale. Bring the foot between your hands. Turn the back heel down on the floor. Keep the left hand down and only stretch the right arm first. Do a semicircle, bend the front knee over your ankle. Prepare, engage the core, lift up. Looking at both arms, making sure they're in line with your shoulders. Look down to see your left toe. You should be able, if not, open the left knee a bit more to the left. Sink into your hips, final breath. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, reach forward, as far forward as you can. And now keep your left hip under. Stretching the left arm down, opening the right arm towards the sky.
Inhale and lengthen the spine, lengthen both sides of the waist without crunching the left waist. One more breath. And when you exhale, bend the front knee, supporting the elbow and stretching the right arm by your ear. Now here, turn the palm towards the back wall. Check that your right hip is not up. In order to sink it down, you need to really bend that left knee and then stretch from your back foot to the top fingers, top arm fingers. Good, one more breath. And exhale, place that hand on your hip. Slightly move your hip back. Find support for your right, left hand, sorry. It should go outside of your left foot. Make sure you've got your block. Place it diagonally away from your little toe. And on your next inhale, spring the back leg off the floor, engaging the core. And let's start inhaling and opening the right hip to the right, flex the foot. Brilliant. Pull the belly in, find a point of focus, and only when you're ready, try and stretch the top arm. Very nice. Very good. Now, if you've got your balance, only if you've got it, try and turn your gaze up towards the top arm. One more breath. And then slowly with control, bring the right arm down, keeping the leg up, stretching just for one breath in standing splits. And exhale, forward fold. Good. Let's squat in a yogic squat and take a little rest and prepare mentally for trying the pose. So close the eyes, relax the mind, relax the face, relax your attitude towards the pose. It's nothing, it's just the pose that looks fancy. Doesn't matter. If we do it today, let's have fun with it. Good. Couple more breaths. And then slowly, let's release the arms and come up. So, taking your time, bending the knees, coming up vertebra by vertebra, whichever way is easy for you. Now, before we go into the pose, one final exercise to open the shoulders. So find a wall, find a wall or find a chair. And first I'll show you the wall exercise. So imagine there is a wall in front of me. You're gonna place your hands on the wall, but then you're gonna walk back and slide the hands down until your body is perpendicular to the wall. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the hands into the wall, pull the belly in, or if you're using a chair, your hands are on a chair, or you can use a door, any, yes, anything, yes. So your body needs to be 90 degrees. Your hands need to be shoulder distance apart, and you need to roll the shoulders out, just like in down dog. Keep breathing. Arms are straight. Press into the chair or into the wall. Keep rolling the shoulders down. Good. Couple more breaths. And then slowly you can bend the knees and come out. If you need any shaking in the shoulder area, you can do that. And now 
Make sure that you have your blocks nearby because we're going to use them. So the pose is a combination of a really wonky half moon <laughs> and um, I don't know, yeah, it's a really wonky half moon. Let's call it this way. So the way we're going to approach it, I'm going to show you. So right hand holds the block and I would say hold it on its highest level. And then we're going to stretch the leg back first starting in the warrior three pose. And then from here, remember what we did in our warm up. We're going to bring that leg up perpendicular to the body. And then from here, we're going to stretch the right arm up towards, sorry, that's the left arm up towards the sky. And if that's where you can stay, stay here. If you can turn further back and open that shoulder more, we can do that. If not, we forget about it. So let's set up. I'll talk you through it again. So your block diagonally away from your right little toe, stretching the left leg back. Now here, find your focus, pull the belly in, very important the whole time, and then start bringing the leg towards the side. Yes. Once you've got it, stretch the left arm up towards the sky. And I would advise you to keep looking down and then see if you can bring the left arm as far back, opening the chest as you can. And exhale, release. Let's come into a squat. Knees together and feet together. So I'm feeling my left buttock burning. Good. We'll try the other side. Recompose. And let's start from a forward fold with your left hand holding the block diagonally away from your left toes. Inhale, pull the belly in and send that right leg back. So send it so that it's parallel to the floor. And now bring the leg forwards, the toes pointing forwards. You can either flex or point and then start opening the top arm towards the sky and try maybe open it towards the back. Let me have a look, very good. I need the leg that is in the air a bit more forwards, a bit more forwards towards me, towards the camp. Yeah, 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 good. Take another breath, I'm not gonna torture you anymore. And when you're ready, come out, join me in a squat. So it can be a yogic squat, knees apart or knees together. Return to your breath. Just a couple more here. And then let's slowly sit down. Stretch the legs forwards, give them a little shake. Now let's bend the knees in, keeping them uh, in line with your hips hands behind you, fingers pointing forwards or backwards, whichever way. And let's inhale and stretch the front of the body again, pressing the hands into the floor, sending the hips so that you 
do the shape of a table. And if I put a little cup of coffee on top of your hips, it's not gonna spill. Hips a little higher, just a couple more breaths. Open the chest, send it through and exhale, release. Good, let's give ourselves a hug. You can release the head if it feels good to keep turning the head sideways. You can do that great stretch for the neck. And then let's again bring the feet a little more forwards, but open your feet wider than your hips this time. So we're going to do the chicken wing, left um, back of the palm on your left waist, left elbow inside your left knee, right back of the palm on your right waist, right knee inside, right elbow inside the right knee. Yes. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, squeeze the knees. Oh. Keep breathing. Couple more breaths. And slowly, let's release. Come out. Good. Now keeping your uh, feet where they are, hands behind you, we're going to do the wind uh, shield wiper movement. Bringing the knees down to the floor, one after the other. Massaging your glutes. They've been working hard today. Good, and then choose which knee would stay down on the floor first. And then place the opposite ankle on the knee. So I'm going to turn sideways. You can transition on your elbows if that's easier or stay on your palms, whatever feels good. Just keep sending the chest through, opening the shoulders. So don't sink and hunch the shoulders. And then let's slowly change size. So the other knee touches the floor, the opposite angle, ankle on the knee. Just a couple more breaths. And then slowly, let's come back up. We'll just stay here for a breath work that we haven't done for a while. before we go into our relaxation. So uh, two options for this breath work. If you can bring your tongue in the shape of a tube and you can breathe in through it, do that. I cannot manage it. I think anatomically I'm not able to. So for me and those who cannot turn that tongue into a tube, breathing in through the teeth, but you open your mouth and you suck the air through the teeth like 
and exhale through the nose. If you're breathing through the tube, inhale through the tube. Close the mouth, exhale through the nose. So let's do 10 rounds of each. Breathing in either through the teeth or through the tongue and exhaling through the nose. Exhale. Seven more, keep going. I chose this breath work because it's dinner time afterwards and those two types of breath uh, are supposed to quench your thirst or satisfy your hunger. So focus on taking in chi, prana, energy when you inhale. And relax and exhale. Maybe a technique that can help one day when we don't have food around. I wonder where that is. Let's do three more breaths in silence. And once you've completed your final round, just come back to your natural breath. Noticing the effects of the practice. Both of these breaths are cooling and soothing breaths, so good to do at the end of the day. And then in your own time, you can transition down on the mat and prepare for Shavasana. Now, before we go into Shavasana, depending on what your body needs, I'll give you time for a twist or for an inversion. So inversion can be as simple as this. And if you have one of the blocks, it's almost effortless if you put it on its lower side, just under your tailbone, not the lower back, the tailbone. And send the legs up in order to bring that blood down into the heart and circulate it. So wherever you are, come back to your natural breath. You can close the eyes if it feels good. Final couple of breaths wherever you are. <clears throat> and 
and slowly transition into Shavasana. If you need to grab anything to switch off the light, this is the time to do it now. And release the legs, straighten them. Or if you've got lower back problems, keep them bent, supporting the knees against one another. Relaxing the shoulders down towards the floor. Arms a little away from the body. Palms facing up. The neck is long, so gently bring the chin into the chest. Relaxing the forehead, the eyebrows and the space between the eyebrows. Relax the eyes. The cheekbones, the jaws and the lips, and clench the teeth, relax the tongue. Your inhalations and exhalations are natural and easy. And with every exhalation, you're becoming more relaxed, more comfortable, and more at peace.
So this is the end of the practice. You can continue to relax or if you slowly would like to come out of the relaxation, you can do this now. Thank you for practicing with me again and have a great evening. Namaste.